Prison officers have walked off the job after repeated assaults and concerns over Comanchero bikey gang members dominating a unit of Woodford Jail. Officers concerned about the bikies in jail units are now calling them clubhouses, with more than 15 Comanchero gang members in just one unit. One of the units dominated with Comanchero bikies, N12, has had the likes of convicted killer Nelson Patea inside. Patea was convicted of the manslaughter of Gold Coast man Greg Dufty. He was released on parole over the killing but had his parole cancelled last year. He is also the brother of convicted murderer Lionel Patea who killed his ex-partner Tara Brown in a horrific domestic attack on the Gold Coast in 2015. The jail also has Bonditos, Mongols, Rebels and Finks members. The stop work meeting was also called over staff assaults which they have said are happening about once every seven days. There are units with 15 to 20 bikies in them, a prisoner officer said. They are calling them clubhouses. Officer said the main concern was the Comanchero bikey gang. A prisoner was assaulted by multiple bikies, an officer said. Officers are concerned that they will gang up on them next with the gang mentality. Prisoners who are not bikies have been asking for units to be locked down because they're even scared. A 50-50 unlock would mean half the unit was allowed out of their cells at a time, limiting the number of people on the floor for prison officers to have to manage. It's understood prison bosses are trying to resolve the matter with staff this morning. Together Union Assistant Branch Secretary Michael Thomas said there was on average an assault every week on staff members. Our members like anyone else in the community deserve a safe workplace. They deserve to go to work and know that they're going to come home safely and not in the back of an ambulance. We have a situation now because of the overcrowding across corrections and the types of prisoners, including a significant number of incarcerated bikey gang members in Woodford, we are seeing on an average an assault a week. To date management's response is to list all the things they are doing now that clearly aren't working and resulting in a number of assaults. Our members are calling on corrections to put additional controls in place including moving to 50 to 50 unlock of units to try to restore some control in the center and reduce the number of assaults. We've got to remember this is Woodford where it wasn't that long ago where one of our members was assaulted, beaten to within an inch of his life and had to get a chopper out of out of Woodford to hospital. It's a significant problem and staff are going to work feeling like they're treated like punching bags and wondering whether they're going to get to go home safely.